hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a random forest in R and you'll see how easy it is. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. And let's start. The video is in honor of the US elections that are about to happen a couple of days from now. This is when I recorded this video. The first thing that I want to do is get the data. So as a comment, please do that get the data, you need a package. So I need to do library and then PSCL. So if you don't have this package, please do install it. Then next part is to do data. So data and then open parenthesis, do vote 92. Here we go, control enter. And let's have a look at the data. So str then vote 92. And we see immediately that everything is either a factor, an integer or a numeric. So everything is absolutely ready for us to do the random forest. Looking at the data set itself, we have for whoever it was voted. So we have Bush, uh, Clinton, I think Peru. Then we have whether someone is Democratic, is Republican, is female, whether their personal finance is better or not. Also the national economy whether they feel they are distances from Clinton politically or from Bush or from Perot. So let's start. And the way that we do this is that we simply do random forest because our data set is absolutely ready. You need a package for this so library and then random forest. Here we go. Control enter. And now what we need to do, we need to create something called model and then use the function random forest inside is just like a linear regression. So we put the dependent variable first, which is vote, and then we do tilde and we'll do on everything. So shortcut is to do a dot, then let's do n tree. So the number of trees in our random forest, which we'll do uh, 20 very simply, and then we put the data source. So data equals and then vote 92. Here we go. Let's do control enter. Here we go. So we have our model here. Now, what can we do with it? Personally, I'm going to have a look at the importance or so variable importance to see what matters most when deciding to whom should they vote. And we do var imp plot from random forest. And then inside we put model and let's put as well a title. So main equals and then variable importance. And here we go. Control enter. Let's have a look. Let's zoom in. And we see that the thing that matters most is whether they are Republican or Democrats. So their starting point is the thing that matters the most. Then we have whether the people feel if they are politically distanced from the candidates, so Clinton, Bush and Perot, and then only afterwards uh, the economy part. And then the last one is the female. Please bear in mind that Random Forest has some random component. So it may happen that what you see here currently is actually a bit different than what is currently in your screen. I hope you had some fun with this video. This was a very, very simple one just to keep you up to speed of what we can do with a random forest and as well to actually implement it. I would highlight again to please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up to the video. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in another video. And until then, have fun. Thank you.